feel so alive I've never felt this way before It must be you and I It's got me thinking about us more It's these bright lights that put me in a daze And I can't stop but think about the way that you move around up and down Hey you guys, it's Kaji. Welcome back to my channel. It is so nice to have you here. Today's video, I filmed this smoky cranberry um, <clears throat> makeup look and I'm kind of sick. You will have to excuse my voice. I'm sorry. But yeah, I really like how this look turned out. Um, I didn't do any false lashes because I did kind of want it to be a smoky grunge type of look. I really didn't want anything glamorous. Um, anything too glamorous anyways but yeah I really like how the look turned out if you have any additional questions please comment down below and ask please give this video a big thumbs up and yeah anyways you guys thank you so much for watching I really really appreciate it please like comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video bye you guys Okay you guys, so we're just going to start off by priming our eyes with the NYX eyeshadow base in white. And this just helps our eyeshadow last longer and makes the colors of the eyeshadows be more pigmented. Next I'll be using this burnt orange color in the crease. This is basically just a transition color. You don't have to be neat with this, you can just slap it on and make sure to blend it out because we're going to be layering other eyeshadows on top. So now I'm going to be packing on this red color onto my lids. Um, this is actually not an eyeshadow. It is one of my red e.l.f. blushes. So I'm just going to be packing it onto the outer corner and just trying to build the pigment so now I'll be packing on this purple eyeshadow color from Morphe brushes um, and just continue to pack it on So what I'm doing here is going in to my crease with a very dark, almost black, purple color and I'm blending that out and I just kind of want to add yet another dimension of purple to make the look more smoky and kind of grungy. So I just kind of did a cut crease line and then blended it out and that kind of created like a really smoky look that I like. Of course that's optional, you don't need to do that. Right now I'm using a dark black eyeshadow to line the top lash line and I thought that using winged eyeliner didn't really go well with this look so I decided to use this method instead. So you can do this if you're interested or tight line with black eyeliner. This part I'm kind of sweeping away the setting powder that I was using to set my highlight. My face kind of looked orange in the video because I'm kind of new to this whole highlight setting powder thing so please don't mind that but yeah I'm just sweeping that all off right now. I was going under my bottom lash line with the same black eyeshadow that I used on my top lash line. I'm smoking out the bottom lash line with some of that dark purple color I used mixed in with some of the purple lid color so to kind of make like a smoky effect. Just packing on some mascara, trying to build up the volume and length. I didn't want to use any falsies for this look, so I'm using this Maybelline mascara. Now 
I'm adding this mauve colored blush from my elf palette onto my cheeks and after I'm putting on this highlighter trying to act like I know how to highlight and strobe and do all that when no I have no clue how to do that stuff now I'm lining my lips with this Avon lip liner um, in the color Wildberry and I'm filling in my entire lips with that afterwards I will be going in with the LA Girl Glaze lip paint in the color Temp That's about it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, you guys.